Hi and welcome to Equal Sounds Academy. My name is Bartosz Klimaszewski and in today's 10 minute music tutorial how to make a basic beat we'll focus on drums. Before we start I would like to mention that all of the steps presented here can be used in any digital audio workstation or sequencer out there. If you use Cubase, Logic, GarageBand, Soundtrack, Live, Reason or Pro Tools this presentation is for you. The main point is to follow these steps and concentrate on creating your own music and sounds, which will help increasing your creativity and originality. So let's jump right into it. First, create an empty project in your digital audio workstation. In Logic, a new window pops up asking you which type of new track you would like to create. For this tutorial, we're going to create one instance of software instrument, also, depending on which external or internal sound device you are using, choose your preference in the output section. When ready, click Create. Now it's time to tidy up your workspace a bit. It's always good to keep things in order, as it saves time later when adjusting and playing with your sounds. Simply put, you know where your things are. So first, rename your empty track to Kick and Snare. Then set up the tempo of your project. For this tutorial, we are going to use the tempo of 80 beats per minute, or BPM for short. The time signature is 4x4. Depending on your proficiency in recording sounds from the controller or computer keyboard, using quantization during recording can be quite useful. Here we use the quantization of 1 16th of a note. This function will allow to keep your rhythm tighter. If, for example, you will be 1 32nd note off the rhythm, the quantization function will automatically adjust that off note to your settings, 1 16th in this case. You can also choose to turn the quantization off and adjust it later in the process. Now it's time to choose your sounds. I'm using Ultrabeat instrument, available in Logic. But you can use any beat machine or sample player that allows you to import your sounds. I have already prepared the tutorial project and chosen really soft kick and rimshot sample and they sound like this. Remember that the whole beat making process contains quite a few steps and the first one is to get things going by catching the basis of your beat, a nice sounding kick and a snare. The fun part comes later, but once you get the core of your beat, everything will flow nicely. It's also a good practice to remember to save your track, and to quick save it as often as possible. It's time to record some sounds. I have set up my recording options for one bar counting, and my kick and snare track is in record ready mode, which is indicated by the red R. In this tutorial, we're going to create a kick and snare, two sets of hi-hats and a shaker rhythm. Whenever you're ready, hit the record button and record your first kick snare beat. Four bars of the main beat should be just fine in the beginning. Also, if you don't have any keyboard or drum pad controller available, you can trigger the sounds from your computer keyboard. In Logic, it's as easy as turning on the caps lock key and a virtual keyboard opens up. Here you'll be able to trigger the sounds you want. Additionally, another tutorial will show you how to manually input or draw the sounds in the piano roll editor of your sequencer.
Once you've got the basics of your beat, we're going to create new tracks, but with next MIDI channels connected to the same instrument. This will come useful during later mixing and mastering stages. As you can see in the information strip on the left here, my kick and snare track MIDI channel is assigned to all. For this tutorial, we're going to leave it like that. Now having your kick and snare channel highlighted, we will go to track, new with next mini channel, or command option M in Logic. This operation allows us to record different instruments like hi-hats, cymbals, and toms using only one instance of our virtual instrument. So record the rest of the instruments, hi-hats and shaker. I had set one sounds like that. And a hi-hat number two sounds like that. and a shaker section. You can stop this video at any time and come back once you've recorded your tracks. Remember that there is no perfect way to create your beat. Only your imagination keeps you from creating whatever you want, but be patient. Freedom of creation comes from limitation. So first limit yourself to the basic sounds, usual patterns and follow the masters. As with any lesson, a good practice time and homework is required. Study your favorite artists, listen to what they have to say musically and try to imitate their beat patterns. Using only kick and snare drum, record the patterns you hear in your favorite music track. Once you got your basics, the new ideas will start to flow. Don't be afraid to experiment and do something different. You can always come back or hit the undo button and redo it. But the main thing is to take action and to start creating. So do it now. This is how all your tracks should sound after your recording. In the next video we are going to concentrate on enhancing your main beat with more sounds. So if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe for more updates. Make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts or questions. Share your experience so far, was it good or bad? I want to know, maybe I'll be able to help somehow. Good luck and enjoy your new sounds.